Today we're installing a Reliance voltmeter. This comes in a 36 or 48 volt option, depending on your cart. To do this, we're gonna use a cutting tool, a multimeter, and various wiring tools. Now let's get started. You wanna make sure that the cart is switched to off, the parking brake is engaged, and it's switched into tow mode. We're gonna remove and retain the two screws located on the bottom corner of your dash panel, also the screw in the very top of the dash panel. The reason for removing the dash panel first is so that when we find the location we want to mount our voltmeter, make sure that there's nothing on the back side that can be damaged. We don't have a lot of room on this dash panel, so we're going to take our voltmeter and go vertical here. Make sure you use whatever's best for your situation. Included with your voltmeter is instructions that have a paper template. Go ahead and cut that out now. We're going to use this as our guide on the dash panel. Again, you can mount these voltmeters vertically or horizontal. Once you get it in place, use a tape measure to make sure it's even on all sides. And then mark the outside of it with a marking pin. We've removed our dash panel for video purposes only. We're ready to drill our hole out at this point. We're gonna use our safety glasses and a cutting tool and go to the inside of our line. At this point, we're going to use a razor knife and clean up the inside of our hole and check to see if our voltmeter fits. If it doesn't fit, instead of using the cutting tool, I'm going to use a razor knife and clean a little more off the inside. Now that our hole is prepped, we're going to remove the nut on the back side of the voltmeter as well as our anchor and then insert our voltmeter into our dash panel and reapply our anchor and nut. Before you install your voltmeter, make sure that your cart is fully charged. That way you get an accurate reading. The first step to powering up our voltmeter is to find the switch leg of the key switch. To do this, we're going to use our multimeter, put the black lead on the main negative of the battery pack, take the red lead and touch each one of the legs of the back of the key switch. Whichever one is showing zero volts when the car is switched to off is the switch leg. The other legs should show full battery pack voltage. There are numbers located on the back side of your voltmeter. You want to find the spade that has number four next to it. This is the key switch wire. You're going to make a small 18 gauge wire with a female spade connector on one end and plug it onto the number four terminal. Then connect the other end of it to the switch leg of the key switch. Next, find the number one terminal and using the 18 gauge wire, this is gonna to go to your 48 volt positive of your battery pack. I like to use color coded wires, so we're gonna use the red here. Again with the female spade, Now we're going to take an appropriate length of wire and run it down through the front chase and under the cart so it doesn't get snagged by any debris. Now we're going to take 18 gauge wire and hook it to the number two terminal and do the same thing, feed it down through the chase into the battery pack, but this time go to the 48 volt negative battery terminal. At this point, we can reattach our dash In our battery pack, we're going to hook up our red wire, which is from our number one terminal to our main battery positive, and our number two terminal to our main battery negative. You're now finished installing your Reliance voltmeter for a 48 or 36 volt cart.